what you gonna show me where you at your motivation guy is back your friend the one and only keith out loud i'm pumped up and i'm so excited you know since we recently made a video going over the things that may be holding you back from becoming a pro okay we want to show you guys like the most efficient methods of practice to overcome those roadblocks and just make it to the next level but you got to believe in yourself man if you don't believe in yourself nobody will so today we're going to be giving you guys six ways to improve your fortnite skills quickly so you can become a pro player hope you believe that but before we get started in this video which i'm so excited about it's time to sit back relax and get some of my favorite candy what is that y'all yo it's that bunch of crunch and let's get this going uh, so for the first tip that we got for you guys today doesn't even require you to play the game okay so you guys gotta watch players gameplay and learn from what they do of course we've all you know tuned in into a pro player stream for some entertainment but a lot of the time you aren't really processing what they're doing and why you know these players aren't at the top for no reason you know they're always using the most efficient strats available and it's going to implement new tricks into their gameplay before anybody else even finds them so you can use this to your advantage by just studying how they play and just see what works out for them if you notice them constantly using a move that you've never seen before just go ahead and just keep it in mind so you can try it out the next time you play you know learning from pros is especially helpful when it comes to competitive events loads of pros will upload their tournament highlight footage into youtube this means you can see exactly how your favorite pro player is playing in the end game and what separates them from the rest on top of learning from what they do right like you can also learn from their mistakes so you don't have to waste any of your games when you find yourself in a similar situation you know we're not saying to cut time out of your own playing time to watch other players like that but you know sending back and just watching a pro's gameplay in your free time, it could be a great way to increase your knowledge when you're just off on the game. Okay, so in Fortnite, and really anything for that matter, like the people that you choose to surround yourself with, I'm telling you, it's gonna have a huge impact on your success, guys. If you're always playing with people who say that they wanna take the game seriously, but always just end up messing around, chances are that you're gonna end up following the same path of wasting your time and your potential. On the other hand, like if you're playing with people who truly wanna succeed, the chances are that you make it to the next level or significantly higher. When you play with a group of friends, man, that all share the same goal of making it as a pro, you're creating a competitive environment environment for yourself that will encourage you to perform to the best of your ability. One of the biggest reasons that players fail to make it to the pro level is really due to a lack of belief in themselves. I say it all the time, you gotta believe in yourself. When you're able to see a friend start to secure some solid placements or even earnings, you're gonna start to believe that you can do it too. Believe it or not, a majority of the pros that you see on top today were actually grinding with each other when they were all unknown. Oftentimes, when one of the players from a friend group starts to make some noise in the pro scene, the other members of that group will shortly follow in their footsteps. All right, so one of the best ways to improve your fighting skills and increase your chances of becoming a pro is by fighting against players who are better, or at least the same skill level as you. Fighting against advanced players is how you're going to see what works and what doesn't work. Certain moves or even your playstyle in general may work against an average player, but oftentimes will fly against someone who knows what they're doing. You can use the mistakes that you make against these players to critique certain strategies and just pick up some new techniques. Just like we mentioned, you know, with learning from the pros, you can learn new moves and strategies by finding, you know, top players yourself you know top players will usually stick to a certain set of moves and this means that you can see firsthand what works best against you and implement the same tricks into your play style you know it can often be hard to find advanced players who are going to want to sit in creative with you for an extended amount of time but if you follow our previous tip and find a group of similar skill level players like-minded players you can fight each other in a plethora of modes to really hone your skills okay so another way to find solid fighters is through discord guys if you go into a server like Kangarna or vital scrims there's going to be tons of good players looking to sit down and practice with somebody. Don't be afraid to give several players a shot until you find the right connections. All right, speaking of advanced players, make sure to head over to ProGuys.com where we've got an army of pro coaches ready and waiting to teach you everything that you need to know about Fortnite so you can improve fast. All right, so just like we mentioned in our previous tip, if you want to increase your chances of making it as a pro, you need to focus on your fighting skills. One of the biggest differentiating factors from a pro and the average player is their fighting ability. You know, majority of the newest pros in the scene, especially when they're younger, have some of the best fighting mechanics in the world. A lot of these players started by being known creative players and eventually just started to make noise in the comp scene after they got guidance from some of the more experienced high IQ players. Anybody watching this video right now could very well follow a similar path if you guys put the time 
time and effort into being the best fighter that you can be. You're going to have a much higher chance of securing solid teammates if they know that you're just cracked at fighting. So to improve your skills, man, you should spend a good amount of time in creative. You should focus on playing fast paced, you know, modes like 1v1 and 2v2 zone wars, realistics and build fights. You know, box fights can also be some really good practice, but they aren't very realistic and not many players play them these days. And on top of this, whenever you play arena, guys, you should always be trying to W key as many people as you can. And this is going to give you a ton of realistic in-game fighting practice that you can transfer into actual competitive events. All right, guys, bunch of good time. It's time for the question today. Since we've been talking about grinding your fighting skill, what would you say is your favorite fighting mode to play in creative? Let us know down in the comments below. Fighting isn't all about mechanics and in-game sense, right? A huge part of it also relies on your aiming skills. Now, you could have the best mechanics in the world, but if your aim isn't up to par, then it's gonna be nothing. Some of the top fighters aren't even super mechanically cracked. Like, they just have very accurate and consistent aim that allows them to win a majority of their fights. The way that a vast majority of these players got their aim so precise is through aim training. Like, you probably heard a lot of players claim that aim training is pointless and that playing the game is good enough practice. In reality, this is more of an excuse for players that don't just want to sit down and put in the time to hone in their aiming skills. Like we promise you guys that if you stay consistent and train your aim for at least 15 or 20 minutes every day, you're going to see a huge improvement in your aim. You can do this through several ways. Like for you keyboard and mouse players out there, you can have access to third party aim trainers like Aim Lab. These aim trainers offer a ton of unique aiming drills for both flicking and tracking, and it's going to improve your mouse control significantly. You can also pair this with some in-game creative aim trainers as well. Maps like Raider 464's aim trainer and the Skavox map is going to have realistic drills that act similar to real aim trainers where you can actually you know loot pull items to practice controlling your recoil and bloom outside of the solo and aim training maps we also you know highly recommend you guys grind out some 1v1 aim duels as well all right rate of 464 has a great map for this and it's going to allow you to have an on aim off you know with another player and a variety of different scenarios with a handful of weapon choices these are great since you're going to get practice aiming at a realistic target like you would in a real game Another great way for you guys to get your name out there and find some really dope teammates is by prioritizing solos. If you don't already have some achievements and PR under your belt, it can be pretty difficult to really find teammates of your same skill level. To combat this, focus on your solo gameplay by grinding out solo catch cups to earn some, you know, PR and build your resume, man. You know, a lot of pros you see today, they made a name for themselves by placing well in solo events. For example, Iamzo, like who's the leader in PR rankings for the NA East region, made his debut by placing in the money in a handful of solo catch cups. These placements you know, quickly allowed him to partner up with more equipped teammates, where he went on to make noise in trios as well as duos this year. Although you should do your best to pop off in solo events, you should still give FNCS your best shot, man. FNCS is one of the best ways to earn PR, but it can be difficult if you don't have the right teammates. Bunch of questions tell me where you got your motivation, guys. Back, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Connect with my Instagram at your motivation guy. I just love motivating people, inspiring them to be great, not only in this game, but also in life. Also, feel free to leave a comment. Let us know if there's anything that you would be interested to learn more about. You know, making it as a pro in Fortnite is definitely not an easy thing to do. But if you put in that work, man, and use the tips that we give you guys, I'm telling you, you can make it happen. Hey, uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.